Hello all, and welcome back to Creos Gaming. I am continuing my story playthrough of Creeper World 3. In the last video, we met, went into, or, uh, bah, sorry about that. We were on JoJo and recovered beam tech and encountered spores for the first time. So now we will head up to Ormos and see what is there. Leah. Oh my. This world is Ormos. It was occupied by the very last human civilization. That civilization went to the extreme and extraordinary measures to survive the Creeper. Abraxas, I don't understand why so many civilizations would rise and fall. How is the Creeper always able to return? Leah, patience, extreme patience. When a civilization has existed for hundreds of thousands, even millions of years with no hint of the Creeper, Creeper, it forgets. So the Loki would just wait? After eons had passed, they would send the Creeper again? That was one component to their strategy. Scars, this world was altered during the final conflict. It was a military outpost specifically designed to withstand the Creeper. Scanners show no emitters on this world. It must have worked somehow. So they thought. There are no emitters, but there is still Creeper. It is trapped inside a subspace rift, and it will explode onto their terrain once activity is detected. The final humans here managed to alter some physical con constants in this region of space. As such, the Creeper flows more slowly than normal. With no emitters, our only goal is to collect the tech artifacts in the shield key. I'll get to that. Yes, but Scars, don't underestimate this Creeper. The tech artifacts here are for a siphon and a tarp. The siphon will let you extract resources from resource packs. Even after all these eons, there are still some energy packs on this world. Build siphons on them as soon as possible to access their energy. The turp will allow you to terraform the land. I recommend you repair the damage to the walls of the old ruins. That will keep the creeper at bay while you build up offensive strength. Once you build a turp, the terraform section of your command interface will appear. Just click that button and paint the terrain in a few places to raise or lower it. Any nearby turps will then get to go to work. All right, Leah, let's get this done. Okay, so oh my. That is... wow. Okay. So let's get this stuff collected because that is an impressive wall of creep incoming. And build siphons on resource packs. The green crystals will give you energy on this map. On other maps, other resources may be available. Collected siphons. Siphons extract resources from resource packs. Okay, so we will build siphons. And... Then we will continue building our collector network until we get the terp technology in place. Uh, that did not build a siphon. Thank you. All right. And then I'm going to add a couple mortars because usually I would just kind of speed towards stuff, but I didn't pay enough attention to see where I need. Okay, I need to be over there. Collected Terp. Terps terraform land. Paint terrain by pressing the terraform button. Okay. Build Terps to terraform land. Build five Terps now. Spread them around near the edge of the old ruins. Okay, so let's get some collectors in place to feed the Terps locations. Alright, why did Siphons not build? Maybe you can't pre-build Siphons? That's what it looks like. So I tried to pre-build Siphons and it didn't work. Okay, build terps. Now that I've got siphons going, the terps should be able to build without a problem. Of course, now my siphons are depleted. All right, um, so now I have the terraform menu. Take it to height. Do this, because all I want is... Oh, and that isn't 10. What is it? It's 9. Okay, so we'll just go height 9 and make sure that the walls are secured. Hopefully, anyway. Um, move my... Click the terraform button, then paint where the change to terrain. Nearby terps will automatically act on nearby terrain. Press size away, terrain height 9, fill the gaps. Yep, I did that. So this is also terrain height 8 versus terrain height 2. Okay, so I'm... I don't know if it's worth doing anything there. Okay, we'll fill some space here. And then, okay, because I am low on energy, I need to, I wasn't, I was going to terraform that, but now it's looking like it's going to be better to not. I'm at a, 
kind of, not a terrible deficit, but I do need to have um, better than I do energy at the moment. Okay, siphon depleted, so I am out of free energy. What'd I lose? How'd I lose a mortar? Why does it say I lost a mortar down there? Maybe I clicked wrong, I don't know. Alright, so these guys will hold this front. And then I need to start coming towards this front. Alright, so let's get some reactors going in because I'm going to need to get that way. And that'll take more energy. Get some more mortars over here just to kind of cover that side. And then we don't have any ore, so... I lost another... Oh, I didn't put a... Uh-oh. Um... Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how bad that's going to be. We'll see. Depends on how long it takes for those... For these to build. Come on. There we go. They're up. Oh, am I still at a deficit, though? So I've got to wait for that to finish. Hmm. That was not wise, I'm guessing, then. Weapons, mortar up there. Got another turb. I can put it there so that when he's done and clears that out, the turb will go to work. Get some more reactors in, because now I'm low on energy. about breaking even, but I don't want to be breaking even, I want to be pulling this out of the deficit range. Okay. And I need to be building up to go that way, but for that I need additional energy, so this is somewhat frustrating. Um, I did not build intelligently, I don't think. So actually what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to restart just given the speed at which that didn't go well. Drop here, structure, collector to start the siphons, unpause it. We'll just go, we'll circumnavigate with collectors. That'll give me terps. Now I have siphons. I can, thank you. I can drop siphons where they'll fit. And then with siphons in place, I can build reactors to help um, bolster my economy, energy production going forward. Okay. Lost a siphon. Not done with reactors yet. Drop a siphon there there. So this one isn't pulling, and I'm not sure why. But we can drop more reactors and some more collectors. And I'm not sure if the siphons aren't pulling because they aren't needed. There we go, that one's pulling. Okay, so it looks like it may only use the siphons if there's a need for additional energy and you don't have enough already. Alright. So, I still have plenty in the siphons, so I'll keep reinforcing my energy input. Let's drop some terps to get this started. It's not flowing too fast, so I should still have time. Okay. So, terraform 2-9, brush size 1, Straight line there. Oops. Straight line there. Nope. Straight line there. Straight line there. 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 And there. That should be everything. Alright, how am I doing? I think I've depleted all the siphons, but I've got plenty of energy. So now I can drop mortars 
to defend. Okay, so I just, okay, siphons are depleted now. So we'll let this building go. And that'll help. Um, let's see here, you're not that significant at the moment, so let's deactivate you. And grab a different, or another mortar here. And a mortar there. Except you're not, whoops, okay. Deactivate that real quick so that I can dedicate the energy I need to the turps. Get that turp there. So this is going much better, building up my energy infrastructure while I was... And we'll build... Alright, so let's take this mortar and activate it. And take this mortar and activate it, because I am doing okay on energy. So I can build in a couple more reactors. Alright, so now I'm losing energy. That's fine. I'll deactivate this just so that I'm not too bad off. That guy will finish and start shooting. I'm going to put this guy there. Okay. And then, so let's go Terraform, Terrain Height 9, Brush Size 5, and let's just draw. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I'll have it in place in case I do. Mortars should be able to handle whatever else gets thrown at me. So it's just going to be a matter of leapfrogging mortars, basically. Uh, with probably some cannon backup, because I don't have uh, any ore from which to gain uh, anti-creep. So, if I just stick with energy producing, or energy using weapons, I think that is my best bet. And these guys are almost done. Okay. There we go. So now I'm getting additional energy. And that's balanced enough. Okay. Just start moving these over. Get relays in. No. That was bad. And terraform nearest first so that I can start building bridge. Come on. I need this to allow for a relay. It's not quite ready yet. Ah, uh, so close. Come on, guys. Get this done. Nope. Okay. Alright, so while they're doing that, I do still have extra energy. So, let's go ahead and put stuff in. Alright, so now I should be able to get in a relay here to support that. Move mortars up to help with the cannons. So I'm hoping I don't have to, um, and I am at a reduce, ah, because I've got four of these building. Okay, so let's take the, deactivate that one, deactivate that one. That'll help me balance out, I think, until those two are done. Get the cannon. Moved up. As well as that. Mortar can move up without a problem. Now we can activate these. Okay. So. Primary concept is just going to be to try to leapfrog mortars the best of my ability. I am going to need to bring relays with them for it to work well. Okay. Move this guy up so that when that finishes... Okay, good. So given how fast this is going, I'm expecting to not need to actually have the level 9 built up, but we'll see. Moving. Get this moved up as well. Because, yeah, it's moving really slowly as it comes in. So I think it's going to be possible to control this for the most part. So let me actually take Terraform 
Rush size up to nine. Cancel the terraform there. Better relay in, because you can't build where you're terraforming. And add another couple cannons so that I can leapfrog better. And reactor, reactor. Okay. Pushing myself just over the limit there. And it'll come back here shortly, because that one's done. They're built, so I can move them up. Grab this mortar, move it there. Because all I need is the key. So now I should be able to build a relay towards the key, and that'll be all I need. Okay. So, up to four. We'll let this run. Alright, tip like shield key. Victory. So, how'd I do? Yeah, two minutes. Nope, that was bad. I wonder if it would have been possible to just build straight out there. Probably not. It looked like it was coming too fast. But anyway, that was Ormos, and next time we will move on to CDET. Thanks all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.